world and you don't think about the future, you just constantly take in what you can learn from other people and from uh, the experience of it. She, she sort of said, fear is destructive. You know, don't be afraid. Um, uh, don't give in to fear. Overcome fear. And, and I think it was absolutely the wisest thing that anyone's ever said to me. Uh, uh, version of Harold Wilson, although he was very much a man of the, the producers, told me um, stick with the audience because it's going to be coming to Broadway. But it was, it was pretty amazing when uh, I think I got that first one with Lizzie Bobby for I think a hundred years ago. And, and with Shakespeare, what people have seen the show might be surprised at what I'm not doing because I know it already seems like a lot. Learn sooner that uh, other people's success is not your failure. If you're a local bookstore and you buy Uta Hagen's Respect for Acting, it is the um, precursory guide to uh, the craft of acting. I think it's the first instruction instruction manual, and then you can continue to my center. In hindsight, my mom is my, my, mom is my everything. She's a, a single mom, she like, worked in three jobs. Um, she didn't always have the time for me, and she wanted me to be more than she was. And she pushed me hard, and it was hard to deal with. Um, but now I see that she's sacrificed. Those there's not just three jobs. She was sacrificing her life so that I could go to college. Yeah, I love the stress. And uh, they were about they were both very excited. Feel about the artistic process, how it's going, how your character development is going. Um, not to go to a negative place when you're talking about, oh, this is going terribly, I don't know, I don't feel. Just to stay positive, and the power of positivity you know, that sounds a bit like sort of wishy washy, but like the power of thinking positively and talking positively about your own work is quite important, I think. If you ask yourself what you were thinking about when you were a little tiny kid, and if that somehow is uh, you've come full circle and you're still uh, touched by it in some way or um, you know being successful in any way because of it, it makes you feel um, grateful and it makes you feel like you took the right path. You know, you look for variety, you want to get all kinds of things to your audience, so we think it's going to be great. And how great that is. Yes. yes. It's incredible. I mean, it's a very personal story. I wasn't telling that story for anyone but myself. I really couldn't imagine who the audience were would be. So to find that it has connected with a really big audience is deeply gratifying. It's amazing. It took me a little while to really understand Bruce a bit more from Bruce's perspective of what I imagined Bruce's perspective would be. And a lot of that involved my it dawning on me that in addition to his struggles with his sexuality and and Basin was also a father, and I, you know, I have an extraordinary father 